Have you ever wondered, if polygamy is forbidden in Jewish law, why did some of our biblical ancestors have more than one wife? For example, our forefather Jacob had four wives, while King David is said to have had six. When the Jewish people received the Torah, they received instructions pertaining to all areas of life, including marriage. The Torah did not, however, forbid polygamy. The prohibition against a man having more than one wife is a relatively recent innovation in Jewish law. Who enacted this law and why? Rabbeinu Gershom ben Yehuda was the spiritual leader of the Ashkenazi Jewish community at the beginning of the 11th century. Around the year 1000, he convened an assembly of leading rabbis who issued various enactments, including a declaration prohibiting polygamy. Although polygamy had always been rare in the Jewish community, these rabbis felt it should never be allowed. In biblical and Talmudic times, polygamy had a role to play. In those eras, emphasis was often placed on the social and economic aspect of marriage. In this context, polygamy could offer practical financial advantages. For example, in an agricultural society, a farmer needed many children to work the land and protect it against bandits. If a woman were barren or had few children, the farm could not survive. In such situations, polygamy provided security for women and enabled economic survival. However, in Rabbi Gershom's Europe, as the Jews moved away from an agrarian society, the reasons for tolerating polygamy disappeared. In addition, as poverty and deprivation intensified for the German Jewish community, people were unable to sustain multiple wives and their children. Thus, even when viewed through the lens of economics, polygamy would now cause more harm than good. Taking this into account, as well as the fact that there were always disadvantages to polygamy, such as abuse of women and familial strife, Robino Gershon chose to eliminate polygamy. Monogamy was always considered the ideal in Judaism. Rabbi Gershon's ban led the Jewish people to the marital ideal, where under the chuppah, a man and a woman are reunited as two halves of one whole. 